But I gotta get something off my chest. Um, you know, we come in here tonight and we're hanging out. And we're doing our sound check. And we're moving stuff around. I'm like, oh, where's Joe? And it was like, Joe's not been around. And I see Ricky C like putting out like CDs and a book. And someone's like, Joe's at the reading. I'm like, what? What? What reading? Ricky, what are you hiding? Give me that. And Ricky's like, I'm like, what? Joe wrote a book? And we're like, wait a minute. Do you know this, Dave? Joe wrote a book, I guess. And um. <laughs> It was just weird. He hasn't been around much for sound checks, and it was odd. So, I, I thought, I thought it'd be fun. Has anyone else heard of this book? Is, anyone? All right. Well, anyway, I thought it'd be kind of fun to just open up to some random page, just read something out of it, just see what's in there, just kind of for fun, right? You want to read something out of the book? Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, let's, let's just do it. It'd be fun. It's a lot of work. You know how many words are in this thing? This is crazy. I mean, we had no idea. So I don't know. Let's just find something. I don't know. Let's see. Biggie was sitting in the practice room couch, shaking his head. He agreed with me. And then he said to Colin, do yourself a favor and hold out for a great drummer. Seriously, Joe said, getting the right drummer is more important than getting a drummer right now. Colin said, Dave will be good enough. Give him some time. <laughs> Biggie stood up from the couch and said, we don't have time to suck. And Joe said, good enough isn't good enough. I said, good enough is good enough, Colin said. Trust me. Joe, what's up with Colin? Is this optimism, impatience, laziness, desperation? Whatever it was, it was infuriating. How could Colin be so clutch and so skittery at the same time? I was starting to see how his sunny side up attitude could have become too much for her. Dude. <laughs> Look, Joe said, my job is to play with the drummer. And trust me when I tell you, Dave is no herb. <laughs> Gotta get better, Dave. Agreed, said Biggie. Oh. He doesn't have to be, Colin said. But he can't suck either, Joe said. Nobody will notice, I said. What the f 
fuck are you talking about, Biggie said. And I said, reasonably, people don't come to hear the drummer, they come to hear the songs. Joe, this is starting to piss me off. You, you think people won't notice when the song they like so much sounds like shit? I'm like, it'll be good enough. Biggie was not ready to punch a wall, but good enough isn't good. Colin, it'll be good enough. Joe sighed, Biggie slumped back on the couch. We were too exhausted to sustain the back and forth. Arguing with Colin is like playing tennis with a goat. He doesn't volley, he eats the fucking ball. The first show with Dave in Detroit was horrible, and he, Biggie, and I all knew it. That's probably enough for tonight. <laughs> Concert t-shirt, concert t-shirt, concert t-shirt. 